What's going on, friends? Your friendly neighborhood old soldier coming at you again today from Robinson County, North Carolina. Um, really, this should be a day that we remember those brave men that stormed the beaches of Normandy uh, to secure liberty, not only for a group of nations, but the entire world. Uh, but today I want to talk to you about something else altogether. Um... And I'm probably going to step on some toes with what I'm about to say. I really don't care. Probably going to upset some people. Again, I don't care. And it's not... How do I phrase it? Hmm. Well, let's just get into it. Last night, mass shooting in Chattanooga. Night before, Philadelphia. I am... And this, I'm going to be very clear here. I am speculating... You know, I haven't looked at all the facts, but I'm speculating. One about Chattanooga, because that's where I grew up. The other part about Philadelphia being the city it is. Um, nine out of ten times, those shootings were probably gang-related or rival factions-related, if you will. You know, like my air quotes. Uh, I'm, I'm just kind of, kind of reading the article about the Chattanooga shooting. That their mayor, I, I like to hunt, and, and I don't want to take anybody's uh, rights away from them, but we really need some common sense gun laws and some, some magazine limitation legislation. And I'm like, why? Because a club, a nightclub in your town that was open on a Sunday night of all things, because when I grew up there, it, no clubs were allowed to be open on Sunday nights. If they did, they operated outside of the, the city limits um, that I can remember. Uh Shooting happened. I think they said 14 people have been injured. There was two killed by gunfire. One was run over by a vehicle of people scrambling to get out of there. I don't have all the particulars about Philadelphia, but I think the other one was New Orleans a while back, and it turned out to be gang-related. Um, the federal government's term, if you will, for a mass shooting involves three or more casualties. Okay. Is it mass shooting by definition? Yes. But is it a mass shooter in the interpretation that the current administration would have you to believe it is that it was some lone crazy gunman? No. Most of the gangbangers out there did they go to the gun store and buy their weapon legally? No. So, my question in this, in all fairness, what are we doing to curb that culture of mentality amongst our young people? Because, see, that whole thug, punk, gangbang, hip-hop, bebop, bullcrap transcends all races, all genders, all cultures now. Some people say, oh, soldier, you're just racist because you don't... I don't like rap music. I'll be the first one to tell you. At least not in its variation today. Now, we can go back to the days of LL Cool J and the, uh, you know, the pioneers of it. Got no really no real problem with it. This stuff that's out there today is violent, it's vulgar, it's nasty. Then let's talk Hollywood and a lot of the movies that glamorize it. Video games that glamorize it. Now, you might say, well, old soldier, that still falls on mom and dad. You are absolutely correct. The problem is, though, mom and dad ain't much older than the kids out there doing the damn shooting. Because their moms and dad weren't around. I get it. It's a, That part is a systemic problem. So, Congress, you worthless mouthpieces in Washington, D.C. that you want to do this, you want to do that. How about you shut up and hold Hollywood in the music industry and the video game industry to account just like you do the gun manufacturers and the ammunition manufacturers that you allow people to sue all the time. While you're at it, why don't you let people sue the alcohol manufacturers and the car manufacturers for daggum drunk drivers that kill people? Quit coming after law-abiding citizens to take away our right to defend ourselves and our families because 
of some illegal activity by people that are probably already convicted felons, shouldn't have guns, but guess what? Criminals don't obey laws. Yeah, I'm a little hot about it. I already made one person mad this morning on another YouTuber's video that I commented on, and um, I really don't care. I said what I said, and I'm sticking by it. But if you in Congress, you lawmakers, this is really who this is generated to, if you're going to do, if you're going to hold gun manufacturers accountable for the actions of one individual or groups of individuals, well, let's go start looking at what's influenced a lot of these gangbangers. Because we don't, you, you don't want to talk about the, the, the problem in like Chicago. There's killings that go on there every single week. And in a multitude of numbers. And they're usually gang or criminally related shootings. Turf wars. Drug wars. And there's a culture behind that mentality that these kids listen to. Even way out in the suburbs that influence their thinking. Now, the old soldier, that, that's, a, that's, a, that's infringement of freedom of speech. Maybe it is, maybe it ain't. But isn't the Second Amendment just as important as the First? Last time I checked, the Second Amendment says, shall not be infringed. How about you dump some of that money you're sending off to Ukraine into the mental health care system for those individual lone wolf shooters? I, the young man in Uvalde, Texas. Because I want to know, how did the young man didn't have a job just recently turned 18, garnered roughly $10,000 worth of weapons and ammunition. Like that. That brings me to my next point. Some of these lone wolf shooters that they're finding out are on psychotropic drugs because they had mental issues growing up. And I'm going to give you a theory that I have about that one. That somebody from a multi-lettered organization within our own government put them up to it. Yeah, call me a conspiracy theorist if you want. I don't care. First time something happens, ooh, bad. Second time, mm, quinces. Three or more times, mm, let's scratch the head and dig deeper in the surface. Was there one shooter or two shooters on that grassy knoll? It's time for our government to come clean with all its secrets. But they don't want to do that. Nor do they want to hold things that influence our children accountable unless it fits what they're trying to do, which is disarm the American people to further their plight to bring communism and socialism into this nation. With that, folks, I will get off here. I did not mean to rant and rave as much as I did, but um, every time, you know, one of these so-called mass shootings where there's multiple shooters, it's usually gang-related, not to mention the other things we've just talked about need to all be addressed by Congress, which they're not going to do anything because it's an election year. They're not going to do anything to tick off their voter base one way or the other. So everything will be quasi wasi, you know, yeah, hang on till we get elected. And then we'll take action. Yeah. I ain't holding my breath. But you, my friends that watch this channel, make sure you keep your eyes open, your ears to the ground. Look around and see what's actually going on. Get yourself prepared for the inevitability, which I think is coming. Okay? Because that's the other thing, and I'll close after this. When that worthless puppet that says he's the president opens his mouth here lately on gun control issues, there seems to be these lone wolf mass shootings taking place. Hmm. Think about that. Think about his old boss. The mass shootings during his tenure as president. So always when he opened his mouth about gun control, something happened. Now, you can take it for what you want, but I was born yesterday, but I wasn't born just last night. Y'all stay safe out there, my friends. God bless. Take care until I get another one out. Soldier out.